Hi, my name is Dennis Razumni and I'm going to present Motion from Blur, 3D shape and motion estimation of motion blurred objects in videos. We present a method that from a video with a motion blurred object estimates object mesh, its texture map, subframe 6D motion and camera exposure gap. Our main contributions over prior work is that motion from blur is the first method to optimize over a video sequence instead of a single frame. We also have better motion modeling with bounces and acceleration. Also, we have explicit exposure gap estimation. This leads to better image decomposition, sharper deblurring and more complete 3D reconstruction. We are given a video with n frames. Then background B is computed as the median of all frames. The mesh parameters theta consist of an index to a prototype mesh, a vertex offsets and the texture map. All other mesh parameters such as faces, initial vertex positions and texture mapping are assumed to be fixed. The motion parameters omega include continuous 3D translations and 3D rotations, which are modeled by piecewise polynomials to allow for bounces and acceleration. Finally, exposure gap is modeled by real valued parameter epsilon denoting fraction of closed shutter. Now we present a video formation model given all previously introduced parameters. Since we have many frames, we have to tie up all parameters by sharing them across video frames. Then the motion parameters are used to transform the mesh by motion function M. Differentiable rendering is used to render foreground appearances and silhouettes that are averaged to model the motion blur and combined with the background. Exposure gap is used in the integral bounds. If we knew values of all parameters, we could re-render the input video. Thus, our task becomes a model fitting problem to re-render the input video in the best possible way. We start model fitting with an input video on one side and object and motion parameters on another side. Appearances and silhouettes are rendered by differentiable rendering. Then they are averaged and combined with the background. The main driving force of the proposed method is the video reconstruction loss that tries to explain the input video as close as possible. For easier optimization, we apply additional regularizers such as silhouette consistency loss, texture smoothness loss and Laplacian shape regularization loss. The proposed method is based on pure test time optimization with no training. None of the previous methods was able to handle bounces, as shown in rows 2 and 3. Significantly better performance at bounces is achieved thanks to more constraints from previous and following frames and explicit bounce modeling. We show results as a temporal super resolution video and novel view synthesis. Exposure gap is visualized as yellow part of the trajectory. Motion from blur generates more consistent temporal super resolution than previous methods. Also, we are able to handle bounces.
We set new state-of-the-art results on fast moon object deploring benchmark. Compared to a single frame approach, we have significantly better deblurring quality at bounces and more accurate 6D motion and 3D model estimation, especially on the back sides. To conclude, we proposed the first method for estimating a texture 3D shape and complex motion of motion blurred objects in videos. Results show sharper deblurring and more complete 3D reconstruction. The method is open sourced on GitHub. Thank you.